didn't really for just run. I came out with the intention of doing a fast 5k while well, I've done the last couple of Saturdays, see how my times compare, but my body is like, oh you are are you? Let's see about that. <laughs> and today I've got the speed of a an asthmatic sloth carrying his weekly shop home up a steep hill. <laughs> it's just not happening today. To be honest, I'm not sweating that well over the last uh, few nights just because it's so humid and uh, my body just feels tired. And that's okay. It's, uh, it's just going to be a case of uh, sleep, rest, just do what my body feels like doing and then take it easy tomorrow, then get back into it next week. You're gonna get these kind of things happen in your training, okay, but it doesn't go according to plan. And that's okay, the best thing is not to worry about it because one or two kind of runs where it doesn't go according to plan doesn't define your entire training plan. Okay, so if you're in a 12, 16 week training plan, one or two runs is not going to make any difference. Never try to run through it or try to run harder uh, to spite everything because that's where you run a greater risk of getting injured or feeling even worse than you do right now because it's not going to get any better. Your body knows best and it's, it's smarter than you. So if it doesn't want to do something, it'll just stop. So if you do have a run where it's not quite working the way you want it to, just relax, don't worry about it, just carry on. Every run's a good run. So just get into, uh, enjoy the movement of just being out, uh, getting the movement in the legs. Take it easy, enjoy the experience, then the next run will be so much better. Happy running. <laughs>